Hey guys, welcome back to another Reese Life Dad Life video. Today we're going to be highlighting the new RLDL Lego Challenge. And the RLDL Lego Challenge is all about creating your own Lego bait, fishing with your own Lego bait, and trying to catch a fish with your own Lego bait. And we're going to highlight how we went through the process of creating a Lego bait, the fun that we had, you can see us fishing with it, and at the end we're going to talk about a chance to win a Catch USA made carbonite measuring board as a prize. We're going to talk about the ways to enter this and, and compete in this challenge. It's going to be a lot of fun. Hope that you enjoy this video and check out the information at the end for a chance to win a Catch USA made carbonite measuring board. All right, welcome back to Reese Life Dad Life. Today we're going to be working on our awesome Lego lures. We have the big version and the mini version of these um, frog poppers, basically. So, spent time mocking them up. Got some good setup here of what we want to see. But now we're actually going to do the task of making them an actual lure. So what we need to do, we got our super snips. We've got our treble hooks, which we're using tournament gray, gamagatsu, short shank, treble, medium heavy hooks. We're going to need heavy braided fishing line. This is what's going to attach everything in the body of the bait to the hooks and then attach to the line um, using that. And then lots and lots of super glue to glue all those Lego pieces together and keep them going. Just quick shout out to Real Feel Fishing, Puddle Walkers Outdoors, and Live the Fish. Thanks for sharing your stickers. If you want to be showing off when we're on the workbench, just send them our way. Shoot us an email and we'll send you the information of how to get it to us. So again, let's get started. So we are going to focus on, right now, with our mini mini frog popper. The mini frog popper here. Again, pretty simple construction. One little small popper hole, mostly a front face, so you're gonna see it go through the water. Some cool legs stick out the back. The goal is to get hooks that come out and stand right here and right here on the back side. That way if fish comes up, we got treble hooks in the mouth. So that's what we're trying to do. So let's disassemble this guy. Kind of sad to do that. Um, go ahead and disassemble it. Then we'll run the line in. So I'm going to try to keep things somewhat together. Um, when I mean disassemble, I don't want to take it fully apart at any given time. So the back pieces are going to stay together. Front pieces are going to stay together mid sections so they'll stay together that way we're not going to lose anything so front mid back good to go okay so this is what we need to focus on right now is starting to put it together and we'll start gluing some pieces together and then when it comes to the time to run the main line to the hooks um, we'll jump right back in and do that with some super glue so let's prime the super glue up here Get this all situated. Looks like it's already ready to roll. Using paper towel just in case we get an extra little fun in the glue department because, hey, glue's cool. So let's see what we do. kids this is the finished product the place to hook it on the line right out the mouth of the popper 
kind of die down and double line there to get a nice center point so it'll run smoothly hopefully got the treble hook hanging out the back legs out the front now we're riding back there and hopefully we will be catching some bass on the frog popper mini thanks again for watching this video um hope that you enjoyed watching us put this together this little trying not as easy as what i thought so we're gonna polish some stuff up here to make it look perfect the way that we want it next time we'll be tying the hooks on before we run the line that way we know exactly where they need to be um, and only have to worry about tying the front knot so that pre-step is going to be important when we put the big guy together so that's going to be next the massive frog popper that one we definitely want more than one hook to be on it but the mini frog popper i think will work just fine with that all right so let's introduce this mini frog popper it's got um 40 pound uh, super slick braid running through the heart of it uh, which is what's hooking the hook on that's treble hook and um, the swivel that you tie stuff on little popper hole in the front to hopefully make some pops intended to be used as a top water or slightly submerged bait with little pop action so that's what we're going to use today let's see if it works this is its initial water test so we have no idea though legos have been told to be buoyant so it'll be interesting to see what happens oops and we super glued every lego together yeah so this whole thing's super glued together so hopefully it doesn't get destroyed um just by the casting process harper come on baby girl okay you come oop i hear that big old frog you hear this is a pond we're fishing that has lots of big bullfrogs in it so this will have the perfect bait to catch one. yeah you do so this will be an excellent um bait to I try so once Reese gets up here oh see some fish in the shallows which is where we need them to be the only thing is they might be hear that bullfrog we made a bullfrog for a pond with a bullfrog Yeah. Okay, you ready, Reese? So let's just do a little short cast here first. It did it. Okay, it floats. It pops perfectly. Takes a moment, but it does seem to ride okay. It's definitely not going to submerge. There's a baby bass right under it right now. Yeah. Wasn't looking at it though. Reese can try to catch that little bass. But you gotta actually get it out there. He was looking at it. Looks pretty in the water, if that counts for anything. He's looking at it. He's looking at it. Hit it. Oh, he came up right underneath it. Come on, just bite it. He looked at it. Hello. Hi, Harp. Oh, I got something! <laughs> I got one, Reese! Hey! Yes! Bass! Oh, and it got off! <laughs> Get it! <laughs> got a 
one. Let's see him. He's not a big one, but he came up and pounded it. There you go. Lego lure catches bass. Yes. Now let's measure this. Oh, uh, yep. 11 three quarters. Cool. 11 three quarters. You want to put him back? No, go ahead, buddy. Oh, give Harper a chance. Good job, Harper Joe. Well, it caught a fish. Caught a fish. And it caught it where we started, which is kind of funny. Oh, Reese got him. Oh, Reese, Reese, Reese. He couldn't ever catch a fish. He evidently, he did one. He did want to catch one. Get him, bud. Put the screws on that fish. Nice one. Now the thing is, is did you catch a longer one? We'll have to go back to the measuring board to find out than Daddy did. So that was 12. That was 11 and 3 quarters, bud. You got to beat that. So that needs to be 12 plus. That be 12 at least. Yep. And I think you did. That's a nice one. Oh, dang it, I had another bite. I almost had another bite. All right, did Reesey beat me? What? Stay there. What is it? What is it? 13? Nice. Hold it up. Show me this victory fish. Cool. Nice. Nice victory fish, Reese. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Here's the chance to win a 26 inch catch carbonite measuring board. It's USA made, super awesome product. We love ours. We want to share it with you. You can do that by participating in the Lego Lure Challenge. So number one, Share a picture of a Lego made lure that you create. Share it with us on Facebook or on Instagram. Our tags here are on the video. You can also share it uh, by tagging us on YouTube in a short or in a video showing off your creation. The second way you can enter is to go fishing and catch a fish. If you're successful, show us a picture of the fish that you caught with your Lego lure or share a video and tag us on it and that'll be your second entry. And your third entry is if you beat our bass or with any fish in length, show us a picture with the, the measurement and we'll give you a third entry for beating our fish. We hope that you enjoy this, this challenge of being creative, creating your own Lego lure. We think it'll be great, fun time for everyone. We can't wait to see the entries, see the creativity. Hopes that some of you do outlandish stuff and some do super realistic things. I hope that we all have fun out in the water. We'll be posting more catches that we do with our bait as we fish through the summertime when the top water bite really starts taking off. We can't wait to see what each one of you creates and does. So please check out this video, like, comment, subscribe, be part of the Reese Life Dad Life family. We'll be putting more out on this and you have a month to enter. So we'll put the dates and all the rules in the video description so you can come back and double check everything and how the tag and also use the hashtag RLDL Lego challenge in all your posts. Thank you very much. Hope to see you out on the water next time with a Lego lure.